Dear students, welcome once again. In the last class, we discussed on solving a system of linear equations, particularly diagonally dominant system of linear equations by Gauss Seidel iterative method. We also considered few examples. In today's class also, let me continue with the examples of solving diagonally dominant system of linear equations using uh, gauss seidel iteration method so let me consider this example so by gauss seidel method gauss seidel method The given system of equations, particularly diagonally dominant system of equations, 20x plus y minus 2z is equal to 70. 3x plus 20y minus z is equal to minus 80 minus 80 2x 2x minus 3y plus 20z is equal to 25 so I can easily make out Coefficient of x in the first equation is 20, much greater than the sum of the absolute values of coefficients of y and z. Similarly, <coughs> 20 coefficient of y in the second equation is greater than sum of the absolute values of the coefficients of x and z. And similarly, the last equation, coefficient of z is 20 greater than sum of the values of absolute values of the coefficients of x and y. So that means the given system of equations is a diagonally dominant equation. So let me mention this solution. The given system of equations, the given system of equations is diagonally dominant is diagonally dominant is diagonally dominant and we write as and we write we write as and we write the equations as to so solve for x from the first equation. So this will be 1 divided by 20 into 70 minus y plus 2z minus y plus 2z. Then from the second equation, if we solve for y, this will be 1 divided by 20 into minus 80 minus 3x minus plus z plus z. Then the second is last equation, third equation. Z is 1 divided by 20. 1 divided by 20 into 25 minus 2x minus 2x plus 3y plus 3y minus 2x plus 3y okay so now as a first step let us assume that the initial values are approximate initial approximate values for x y z 
and b x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 let let x 0 is equal to 0 y 0 0 z 0 0 be the initial approximate values of x y z respectively be the initial be the initial approximate values <coughs> initial approximate values of x y z respectively now at the first step first iteration first iteration first iteration <coughs> for x1 denoted by x1 like this this is the first iteration is obtained by using y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 in the first equation so 1 divided by 20 times 70 minus replace y by y0 plus z by z0 so that means this is 1 divided by 20 1 divided by 20 into 70 minus y0 is 0 0 plus 2 into z0 is 0 so this is equal to if you compare this in the calculator, we get 0 0.85. 0 0.85. Okay, similarly, first approximation to y is 1 divided by 20, 1 divided by 20 into minus nt minus 3 into x x1. So this value should be used here. 3x1 uh, <coughs> plus z z0. So this is going to be 1 divided by 20 into minus nt minus 3 into x1. x1 is 0.85. So 0.85 plus 0, z0 is so this is equal to, if you copy this carefully, you get minus one point, minus one point zero, minus one point zero two seven five, two seven five, minus one point zero two seven five. Now similarly. First approximation to z is 1 divided by 20 times at 25 minus now 2x1 2x1 plus 3y1 3y1 so this is going to be 1 divided by 20 times 25 minus 2 into 0 0.85 0 0.85 plus 3 into plus 3 into minus 1.0275 if this is computed carefully with the help of the of calculator you get 1 point 1 point 0 1 0 0, 1, 0. Now, second approximation. Second approximation. Or uh, iteration. Second iteration. <coughs> so now, x1, y1, z1 will act as approximation to find the second iteration. So, this is x2 is 1 divided by 20 times 70 minus 
y1 2z1 y1 plus 2 z1 so this is equal to 1 divided by 20 times 70 minus 70 minus y1 y1 is uh, now it is plus 1.0275 plus 2z1 plus 2 into 1.0108 if this is computed we get x2 1.0078 2. Similarly, y2 is 1 divided by 20 minus 18 minus 18 minus 3 x2. This value should be used 3 x2 plus z1 plus z1. So, this is going to be 1 divided by 20 times 1 divided by 20 times <coughs> minus 18 minus 18 minus 3 minus 3 into x2 x2 is 1.0024 1.0024 1 plus 1 Z1 is 1.0108 plus 1 1.0109. If this is computed carefully using calculator, you get minus 0 0.9998. Second approximation Z is 1 by 20, 1 by 20 into 25, 25 minus 2x2 two minus 2x2 two two plus 3y2, 3y2. Then this is going to be 1 divided by 20 times 25 minus 2 into 1.0024 2 into 1.0024 plus 3 into y2 minus 0 0.9 9, 9, 8. If this is computed carefully using calculator, you get 0 0.9, 9, 9, sub 0 0.9997. Okay. So, that is the Minus y2 plus 2 
So this is equal to 1 divided by 20 times 70 minus y2. y2 is minus that is plus 0 0.9998 yeah. plus 2 into z2. z2 is 0 0.9998. 7. If you compute carefully, you get you get zero point nine 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 zero point nine 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 up to four decimals. Then similarly, third approximation to y that is y3 y3 is 1 divided by 20 1 divided by 20 minus n minus 3 x3 this value should be used here plus z2 plus z2 so this is equal to 1 divided by 20 into minus it minus 3 into x3 point nine 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 point nine 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 plus z2 z2 is point nine 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 seven point nine 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 seven if you compute this carefully using calculator so y3 will be minus 1, minus 1. Then third approximation to z is 1 divided by 20 minus a plus 25 plus 25 minus 2 x3 minus 2 x3. Plus three Y three Y three Y three is equal to one divided by twenty one divided by twenty into twenty five twenty five minus 2 into x3 x3 is point point 9 9 9 9 9 9 plus 3 into y3 y3 is minus 1 3 into minus 1. So this is going to be with carefully computing 1. 1. Now compare the <coughs> values in the previous one. There is a small difference. So we shall continue with fourth iterations. Fourth iteration. Four iteration. Okay. X four. X four is one by twenty seventy minus y three y three plus two z three plus two z three. So this is equal to 1 divided by 20 into 70 minus y3. Uh, y3 is a minus 1, so this is plus 1. 70 plus 1. Z3 is 
1. So plus 2 into 1. So this is going to be 1. This is going to be 1. Then, fourth iteration or fourth approximate value of y is 1 by 20 minus 80 minus 3 x4 x4 plus z3 plus z3 so this is going to be 1 by 20 into minus 80 minus 80 minus 3 into x4 x4 is 1 so minus 3 into 1 then plus z3 z3 is plus 1 plus 1 so this is going to be minus 1 this is going to be minus 1 then z4 is 1 divided by 20 into 25 minus 25 minus 2 into x4 plus 3 into y4 plus 3 into y4 so this is equal to 1 divided by 20 times 25 25 minus 2 into 1 2 into 1 plus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 so this is going to be plus 1 this is going to be plus 1 okay. now you compare fourth iterations with the third iteration they are almost the same 0.9999 is almost equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so since the third and fourth iterations are the same up to the desired accuracy that is four decimal places the solution of the reverse system of equations is x is equal to uh, 0.999 approximately 1 y is equal to minus 1 z is equal to plus 1 Says the third and fourth iterations are the same. up to four decimals four decimals the solution the solution of the given system the given System of equations is x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, minus 1, z is equal to plus 1. So let me consider another example of solving a diagonally dominant system of equations using gauss seidel iteration
solved by gauss seidel method so by gauss seidel Seven x plus fifty-two y. Seven x plus fifty-two y plus thirteen z plus thirteen z is equal to one hundred four. Three x plus eight y. 3x plus 8y plus 29z is equal to 71. 83x plus 11y minus 4z is equal to 90. Minus Four z is equal to ninety-five. <coughs> Carry out four i directions. Carry out four i directions. Carry out four i directions. So here we don't have to compare uh, the two successive i directions whether they are. Equal to the desired accuracy or not? Uh, simply carry out four iterations: one, two, three, four, and take the values at the fourth iteration as the solution of the uh, given system of equations. Okay. Now, first of all, let us look at the equations. Whether it is given in the proper order. So, the first equation has a coefficient of x seven. Second equation has coefficient fifty two, and third uh, seven fifty two. So now just observe the the equations which are jumbled. So coefficient of x should be greater in the very first equation, that is eighty three. So uh, we have to reorganize this given system of equations to uh, <coughs> write in the diagonally dominant system of equations. One. So first, we shall rewrite <coughs> rearranging rearranging the given equations rearranging the given. Equations. We have. We have. Eighty-three x plus eleven y minus four z is equal to ninety-five. Then this should come as the second equation. Seven x. Plus fifty-two y plus thirteen z is equal to one hundred four. Then the third equation will be three x plus eight y plus twenty-nine z is equal to seventy. Now look at the equations now. Coefficient of x 83 <coughs> greater than sum of the absolute values of coefficients of y and z. Similarly, 52 coefficient of y is greater than sum of the absolute values of the coefficients of x and z. And similarly, coefficient of z is 29 is greater than the sum of the 
आप जो प्यारी सा कॉफ़ीशेट आप एक्स एंड वाई तो दर पे अगेवन सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशंस इस डायगोनली डाउन सो दिस इस दिस सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन दिस सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशंस इस डायगोनली डाउन
such a carefully compute, we get y1. 1.8459. The Z mark will be 1 divided by 29, 29 into 71 minus 3, 3 x1 minus 8 y1. So newly obtained value is due to the immediate next equation. So this is equal to 1 divided by 29 into 71, 71 minus 3 into x1, 3 into 1.1445 minus 8 minus a into y1 y1 is 1.8459 so if you compute this carefully you get z1 is equal to 1.8206 this is the first equation so likewise we have to continue uh, till fourth iteration.
minus 8 point so this is 1 divided by 20 times times 71 minus 3 into x2 is 0.9876 minus 8 into y2 1 point 1 point 4 1 1 9 so this is equal to 1 point 9566 1.9566 okay. Now, third iteration Third
for hydration. So X4. X4 will be 1 by 23 times 95 minus 11 by 3 plus 4 Z3 plus 4 Z3 So this is going to be minus 11 times y3 y3 is 1.36 1.36 92 plus 4 times z3 z3 is 1.9617 9617 so if you compute this you get x4 
Now, all the initial values are given in the problem itself. Then we have to start from that values of uh, initial values. Otherwise, we have to assume the initial values are zero to begin with. Now, let us take the first iteration. First iteration. So we use y is equal to y zero. We substitute for y, y zero. Substitute for that z zero. Both are equal to zero to obtain the first approximation to x. So first approximation to x, x one is one divided by fifty four into one hundred ten minus y zero minus z zero. So this is equal to and 1 by 54 into 110 minus 0 minus 0 that is 110 by 54 is 0.037 point 0370 if you use calculator and compute this you get this one then y1 first approximation to y One divided by fifty seventy two minus two into x one. We have to use the newly obtained value in the immediate next equation. Minus z zero. Z zero is z uh, zero. Z zero. So this is equal to one divided by fifty into seventy two minus two into Point zero three seven zero minus zero minus zero. So if you compute this, you get y one uh, minus six. So this is minus six seven zero. Is equal to minus six into zero. So if you compute this carefully, you get four point five two eight four. Four point five two eight four. Then first approximation is that one divided by Twenty-seven, eighty-five, eighty-five minus x one minus six y one. So this is going to be one by twenty-seven into eighty-five minus x one is. Zero point zero three seven zero minus six into four by five two eight four, and this is going to be if we do carefully the computation two point two one seven two two point two one seven two point two one seven. Let us look at the second iteration. Second iteration. Second iteration. <coughs> X two will be one divided by fifty four times one hundred ten. One hundred ten minus y one minus z one. So this is going to be one divided by fifty-four into one hundred ten minus y one. Y one is four point five two eight four five two eight four minus z one minus two point two one seven. Nine one two one. 
the second approximation to y is y2 1 divided by 50 50 into 72 minus 2 x2 2 x2 minus minus a 6 z1 6 z1 so this is going to be 1 divided by 50 into 72 minus 2 into x2 x2 is 1.9121 1.9121 minus 6 into Z1. Z1 is 2.2172. 2.2172. So if you compute this carefully, we get Y2 3.6581. 3.6581. Second approximation to Z, Z2, 1 by 27, 1 by 27 into 85, 85 plus X2, minus 6 y Now this is going to be 1 divided by 27 into 85, 85 plus x2 x2 is 1.9 1, 1, 2, 1 minus 6 into y2 y2 is 3.6581 3.6581. So if you compute this carefully, we get 2.4060. 2.4060. The second approximation. Now let us look at the third iteration. X3 is 1 divided by 54 into 110 minus Y2 minus Z. So this is equal to 1 by 54 into 110 minus Y2. Y2 is 3.6581. 3.65. And one minus Z2. Z2 is 2.4060. So this is going to be, if you go carefully, the computation 1.9247. Y3, third approximation to Y. 1 divided by 50 into 72 minus 2x3 2x3 minus 6z2 So this is going to be 1 divided by 50 into 72 minus 2 into x3 1.9247 1.9247 
or 7 minus 6 into z2 z2 is 2.4060 2.4060 2.4060 so this is going to be if carefully compute y3 3.5809 3. Five eight zero. That Z three will be one divided by twenty seven times eighty five minus X three minus six into Y two. So this is going to be one divided by twenty seven times. 85 minus x3 1.9247 minus 6 into y3 3.580 so if you carefully compute you get z3 is equal to 2.5 
x4 minus 6 y4 minus 6 y4. So this is equal to 1 divided by 27 into 85 minus x4 1.92 5 yeah. minus 6 into y4 y4 is 3.57 3.57 3.57 3 so if we compute this carefully we obtain This is plus that for eighty five plus eighty five plus plus. So this is also plus plus. Okay, that is plus. Okay, is yes, equal to two point four two five two point four two five two. 2.4253. Okay. Now, after four iterations, the approximate solution of the given system of equations is x is equal to 1.9258, y is equal to 3.5737, z is equal to 2.4253. After four iterations, After four iterations, after four iterations, the approximate solution, the approximate, the approximate solution. Of the given system of equation, the given system of equations is x is equal to one point nine two five eight one point nine two five eight y is equal to 3.5737 3.5737 3.5737 and z is equal to 2.4253 okay. Okay, I'll conclude this session now and I'll continue the remaining portions in my next lecture. Thank you.